So January 2023 is in the books and we're here to share the results. So you know what, there's some good news on this chart, believe it or not. What we have here is a six month rollover of what's happening with sales and active listings and months of inventory and what's happening with price. And what we can kind of surmise from this is things are fairly stable and they have been for a while. We're sitting with a $613,000 average sale price in January, you know, 624 in October, 621 in November. Kind of same, same, right? If you look at sales volume December over January, we're almost flat and that's typical. January and December are the two softest months of the year with about four to 5% of our total year sales each. So that's looking fine. You know, the key insight here is really that um, we've had no change in the average months of inventory. Things are, you know, kind of just checking along at the pace they have been. Moving on, we'll take a deeper dive into uh, sales volume. Now, last January, you know, was ballistic and was start of a crazy, crazy uh, uh, cycle. So we had 933 sales last January and 606 this year for 35% reduction. And if you look at active listings, that's the real story, right? We went, went from having no inventory to having kind of a balanced market. So last January, we had 825 listings with 933 sales, less than one month of standing inventory at any given moment. This year, 606 sales with 2,300 homes on the market for about four months of standing inventory. That is considered a balanced and healthy market that we're in currently, certainly not the one we were in last year, not as exciting for those of you selling, but probably easier for all of us to deal with. When you flip over to prices, of course, what happens when we have a more balanced market? Prices are not gonna be as strong, right? So we've had about a 12% reduction in average sale price January over January. Keep in mind, January, February, March last year were absolutely the peak. We really haven't had much of a drop in average aggregate sale price. It's just really from the peak market, we've had a good drop. We're gonna show some pretty big drops for the next couple of months. It looks like it's doomsday, but it really isn't. It's just a function of a peak that's followed with more balance. So again, 676 this uh, January versus 769 last January. Condos similar, about an 8% reduction to 412, not quite as much as the residential side. So you know what, we're predicting kind of a stable balanced market this year. Lots of opportunities for buyers to kind of get in that we're sitting on the sidelines. Interest rates have stabilized. We're not expecting a lot more increases from the Fed, so that'll be good. And uh, let's see what February brings, but you know, it seems like all lights are pointing in a reasonable, balanced, forward motion at this point.